Cheaters, what's up? It's Ali Hard to See, and today's video is going to be all about mermaids and the conspiracy theory of whether or not they are in fact real. I think my stance is going to be pretty clear on this by the end of the video because I have so much that I like really really believe in that is kind of like evidence. Obviously this being a conspiracy theory, there is no proof proof that this is in fact real. There are just some pretty convincing arguments and things that don't really make sense and don't necessarily prove that they're not real. So wait till the end of the video before you make your decision and decide whether or not you think they're real. I think they're real. You don't have to agree with me, but here's my video providing some evidence and some things that kind of make you question the existence of mermaids. For starters, mermaids have been around for quite some time. Back in the prehistoric era, they were drawn on caves, so this was way back before they had the Little Mermaid movie or any of that stuff, so it kind of makes you wonder why this was a thing way back then. And that brings me to the concept of evolution, or as I should say, the aquatic ape theory. This basically says that we evolved into or from underwater, like as a species, because if you really look at it, our hands, they're kind of webbed, some people more than others, right here. We are the only mammal that actually has that on our hands, and we have the capabilities to swim, hold our breath underwater, and do a lot of things, and I mean, obviously mermaids, they look just like us, except for they are underwater humans, and they have the tails and all that. So it is possible that we did, in fact, adapt from mermaids, or mermaids adapted from us, vice versa. We are adapted to our environment, therefore they are adapted to living and breathing underwater, we are not because we are on land. I know this sounds super crazy right now, but bear with me, I have so much more information coming and it is pretty convincing. Also, back to date, Christopher Columbus claims that he had an encounter with three different mermaids. He writes about it in his book. He's the guy who basically founded America next to the Indians. So there has been a lot of people who have come out and said that they saw mermaids. And just like alien or UFO sightings, it's one of those things where you kind of have to take their word for it. It's not really necessarily proof, but still, when you really break the mass of our Earth down, about 97% of the water comes from the ocean, and over 70% of the Earth is the ocean. We've only explored less than 5% of the ocean. That means over 95% of 70% of the Earth we don't know about. It's undiscovered. So who's going to sit here and say that it's not a possibility that mermaids exist? We don't know what's down there. We don't know how deep it goes. We don't know what lives underneath there. There's a lot that we just don't know about, and we don't know if we'll really ever be able to dig that deep, or maybe the government already has, and they know more than we do, and that's why mermaids don't exist, but they really do, and they know things that they're not letting us know about. Now, this is the part that's always been the most convincing to me, and that I've never heard anyone really talk about in a YouTube video. I haven't seen many YouTube videos on mermaids, but the ones I have never really dive into this part. Dolphins, they do so well with us as people. They are so equipped to being around humans. You can go to SeaWorld, you can swim with them. They're very friendly towards us naturally. Oh my God! <laughs> Maybe that's because they're so used to being around mermaids underwater who look just like us. And a lot of people wanna debunk that theory saying that, oh, if mermaids are real, they're not these nice, happy creatures that you see in you know, the Little Mermaid, like Ariel. I'm not saying that at all. In fact, I would definitely have to agree with the fact that they're probably not the most friendly, nice underwater creatures, but I think that is towards us because we are constantly disturbing their natural habitat, which is the ocean. We're doing Navy sonar testing in their habitat, in their home, and that has killed so many underwater mammals. And mermaids are said, supposedly, according to conspiracy theorists, and I totally think this makes sense, they speak at the really high-pitched volume of basically like a dolphin, like sonar. So when the Navy is doing the underwater sonar testing, it's affecting the mermaids because they understand that frequency of pitch, which the dolphins speak, which is why they get along so well with the dolphins and their friends, which is why we get along with the dolphins. I mean, think about it. If they feel threatened by us, which of course they probably do just based off that alone, they're going to hide from us and they're going to be really mean to us if they do encounter us and they're probably not going to be super friendly like they are with the dolphins, which I'm assuming they are. Another thing that I thought was super interesting was that when whales are washed up on shore, a lot of the time they're covered by tents to surround them, right? And people come in and they dispose of the whale. But I've seen beach whales that were never covered by tents at all and they were just disposed of. So it kind of makes you wonder why it's all secretive and they're covered up on the beach like that. Maybe because it's not really a whale, because it's a mermaid. I've also heard things about a mermaid being kept in a shark tank at Area 51. I don't really have any evidence or proof or research I can like provide you guys with on that, but I think it's totally possible. It would make a ton of sense if they did that. I definitely think that if mermaids do exist, 
exist that we have in fact captured one by now or had an experience with one. They've had an autopsy on a mermaid by now because that's what we're gonna do as a government. I'm not saying I agree with it, but of course they're going to do that with aliens or mermaids if we do in fact find one because they are this rare or non-existent endangered species or being. There have also been scientists who have come out and said that there have been sonar pitch noises underwater that they have been unable to identify going back to the fact that mermaids speak at that level of frequency along with fossils that are a new species found underwater that would basically be linked back to mermaids. It makes a lot of sense. It looks that way. All the pieces fitting together. I think that I definitely believe in mermaids 100% and you don't have to, but this is just the evidence I kind of gathered for you all and it kind of makes you question a lot considering that much of our earth we don't know about. If you guys like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up. Leave a comment below letting me know if you want more on these kind of topics and just conspiracy theories in general because I love telling them. Subscribe to my channel for more videos and turn on my post notifications by hitting the bell button right next to the subscription box. Follow my social media. Also, I have a Patreon if you guys want to check that out. You will get exclusive photo shoots that I do not post to Instagram and videos that are not on YouTube or I will post on there ahead of time and a lot of other fun perks. I also have a private Snapchat you guys can check out on my Patreon on and I will see you guys in the next video. Later alligators. Bye.